Hello everyone, it's Brett with Fixer Farms Ministry and today we're out on the farm. We're going to be doing like a vlog type style today. We're going to be doing a few different things. I'm going to show you guys, you know, some, we're going to set up some more beds and some planting and things like that. But real quick before we jump into it, there are talks of uh, truckers having strikes which would cause, you know, a shortage in the supply chain there. And so that's kind of the things that we've been talking about and why I've been making these videos and stuff. So we'll talk about that more in other videos i just wanted to kind of tell you guys if you want to look into that and you know i don't know if it's all for sure going to happen but just to keep an eye on that and you know be ready and make sure you you have you know food and some supplies and stuff in case this was an issue so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it work bed set up on the new side but i wanted to talk a little bit more about how i make my walkways as you can see and how i just use a shovel a flathead shovel to make them and that way you can get it nice and even down and you want that part you know to be hard and stuff of course because you're just gonna be walking on it so i'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like when i do it right here you can see the difference how this one's not done yet so i'll show you right now All right, so that's kind of how I do my walkways. That way, when you go through it with the shovel, you know, you can get any high spots, low spots, and get it all nice and leveled across, or kind of have it slant one direction, because when water accumulates there, that way it'll flow out one direction. You can get rid of the little humps and different things so water doesn't just accumulate and have, uh, you know, puddles all down your walkway that are can't, go anywhere because you know it's too high here too low here so you kind of want to go through and level that all out and then another thing is you saw is those stream lines and if you want to go back in my last video uh, um, on the food shortage series I did setting up new beds but I wanted to go into a little more detail on a few things so that stream line is really going to help you because it's stringing out your bed so you know the width of, width of your bed that way when you dump compost and, and spread it you know kind of gives you a a line of this is my bed on this side and this is where it ends on this side and same with the walkways and it kind of helps you get everything all straight and leveled out and then you can take those strings off as you you know further down the road or as you start planting or whatever whenever you want to start pulling them off but that gives you a good start and a good foundation of to level out and kind of how everything's gonna look and make it all nice All right, so that first clip you saw was a paper pot transplanter, and I have a whole video on the paper pot transplanter if you go back in the food shortage series, and it'll be a picture of the paper pot transplanter on the thumbnail. So you can go back and check that out, but that will save you time and save your back from bending over. So go ahead and check that video out if you're interested in the paper pot transplanter. And then the, you saw me pulling the string and I just wanted to show you guys kind of real quick how I do it. Um, we were talking about that earlier and how I line out beds and how you can keep everything nice and even and know where you're going. And so that's kind of an easy way if you just streamline everything at least at first and then you can take it down after you get it all set up. So that last clip you just saw of that cloth over will really help you out in the winter time. It'll keep anywhere from four to six degrees warmer underneath. And there's different cloths, there's thicker ones. And I have a video on shade cloth for the summer and that cloth for the winter. And so if you wanna go back and check those out, you can. I'm kinda of just doing a vlog today and going over some different things that I did on the farm and referring you to some other videos that maybe have some more detail on those. And coming up here in the next couple days, we're gonna be doing, maybe tomorrow even, we're gonna be putting in irrigation on the new side. And so we're gonna do a whole video of putting in our main line and running our sprinklers and all that. And I'm gonna do it a little bit different than I did my other side. 
Um, you know, you always learn what works and what doesn't. So I'm going to try some other things, um, try some bigger pipe and things to try to get more volume of water down because I've had a little bit of pressure issue, water pressure issue on the other side. And so again, guys, I just want us to always remember to trust in the Lord and keep about his business. And we'll also continue doing some videos on, on current events and, and looking at things through a biblical lens and a biblical worldview. And so thanks again, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out our Facebook and Instagram at Fencer Farms Ministry. And God bless.